Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. So about a week ago, maybe two week and a half ago, I can't remember exactly, but I did get a message from a subscriber who has requested me to teach him how to install Polygon. So I figured, why not? Let's do that. I haven't covered that. And it's also a user request, so there's no way I was gonna turn it down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wiki, okay? So let's start there. Okay, at the wiki, here I am at the polybar wiki, which is at their GitHub, which is a polybar slash polybar GitHub, right? Um, and I'll put a link of that in the description as well. Uh, but so polybar is, as you can see, in a window manager, you have your workspace, and then you have a bar at the bottom that's your status bar. It tells you what windows open. It tells you what's going on, like with your system load, that kind of stuff. You could add all kinds of modules and widgets and stuff into it. There's tons of different bars out there. You've got Tint2, you have Polybar, you have the i3 status bar, um, Bumblebee status. I mean, there, there's, there's all kinds of alternatives. In fact, that's a Google search you might want to try. i3 status bar alternatives, and it'll show you. But either way, Polybar is one of those. And it's very beautiful. A lot of people use it because it's very highly customized. And so uh, to install it, it's as simple as simply opening up your terminal. And if you are in like Ubuntu or Debian or whatever, it would be your package manager install, like, you know, and then Polybar you know, like sudo apt install polybar. Well, for Arch, it's sudo pacman cap dash capital S polybar. Now, I've already installed it in here. So now let me give it my password. So see, here it is, polybar 3.6.32. Yes, I'm going to do that. And it just reinstalled it. So there's that. Okay. So once you have that installed, um, that's the first step you got to do. You got to download it. Then what happens is, is it's going to install the configuration file into your Etsy directory. However, if you are using a window manager of sorts, whether it's uh, i3 or VSPWM or whatever, you could use Polybar on any of them, Xmonad, uh, you're going to want to copy the configuration, especially if you want to customize it. You want to put colors into it. You want to put um, like your uh, hieroglyph symbols, you know, for like your load, your RAM, you know, all that good stuff in it. Then you want to copy the config any into your home folder. So what you want to do is you're going to open up your um, uh, file manager in the instance of this. OS that I'm running, which is an Arch Vanilla, uh, Vanilla Arch, it's going to be Thunar. And as you can see, I already have the .config files here uh, already opened, so, so they're not hidden. And you, all you gotta do to unhide them is hit Control H. Now they're hidden. Now I hit Control H, now they're unhidden. And in this one, the .config, this is the one where you're gonna wanna copy your polybar configuration, okay? This config any. Now, this config any in its original form is in the Etsy. So we're going to go right here to your file system, go to the Etsy folder, and you're going to go down to Polybar. And you are going to open Polybar. There's your config any. This is the original one. So leaving it here instead of you know moving it, you want to copy it and then paste it. You can either do it through command or Right click, copy, and then you can go to your config file. We're gonna click Alex, right to config, the polybar, and you hit paste. You see, and you can do it just like that. 
I am going to hit cancel on that because there's no need to do it. So it's already there. So, but you can just, it's that simple to do. Or otherwise you can, if you're more comfortable doing it through the terminal with your CP move, uh, CP commands, and then, then do that. But you got to put that there because when you open this up, as we'll open it up and we are going to open it up with Vim, this is what you see. I'm going to make that full screen. Back here. Really good. What you see. This is your polybar. Me. So the first section is your colors, okay? Because it does have colors. Now these colors, you can certainly go and get your hex colors online and you can download it. Uh, also, there's you can go to Unix Porn, uh, Polybar for the subreddit, and you can find it. Uh, lots of customized bars over there. They'll take you to their GitHub page and they already have their colors there so you can get those colors, themes, and symbols, whatever you want. It'll also tell you if you got to download, you know, like nerd fonts or anything like that. Um, but anyhow, so your first section is going to be your bar colors. Then it's going to be your bar example, like your width, height, and radius. Your DPI, background colors, which are going to be like background up here. Okay. Your lines, your border size, your padding, your module volume, your separator. Um, all that stuff is all on the actual black part of the bar. Okay. Then after that is your position uh, of the system tray which you can put right here with tray position. You can move your tray position from left to right to center, whichever one you want. You just you put center here. Uh, and then also if you want it uh, detached, then you you do yes. So you can make it like a floater. Um, or, you know, you put it to true instead of false. And then icon maximum size. This is where you can set your icon sizes for your system tray icon. Transparency, if you want it to be transparent, like you want to make the rest of the bar transparent, then you would simply change this to true. Uh, also for the background, you know, you can put root background or you can put the bar background if you want it to match, foreground to match the, you know, the, the bar or whatever. So in the scales right here. Then next comes your module or workspaces, which will be on your left-hand side. And here is where you could customize those. Did different names, you could assign them, you know, windows or whatever, you know, to be whatever, you can put icons there. For like your Firefox icon to make it only window 1B, Firefox, you can assign it that way. Also the file system module, um, because that's going to show you your file system. Then after that, you're going to have your pulse audio module. Uh, then you, these are the actual modules that tell you like you know, your volume indicator, how much of your system you're using, of your file system you're using, uh, your memory module, how much RAM you're using, that kind of stuff. And if you want to actually put a, a symbol right here in the parentheses where ram is right here right right where i'm at clicking at right here anyhow if you put a symbol right in front of that a ram symbol then it'll appear in the tray i'm going to do a little space we put a line there then it'll show you you know ram you know with the name there uh module the cpu your land module your ethernet then you got your date and you got your time and then you have your uh your uh, screen change settings and your pseudo transparency set. Uh, and that's it for your basic polybar configuration. So that's a look at what's in the config file, in the config any file that you copied over. We're gonna go ahead and close out of that. Do that. So that's your config any that you have moved and that's what it looks like. So then uh, after that, according to the wiki here to launch your bar in your window managers bootstrap, you have to create a uh, bash script and you put it in your polybar config, okay? So what you do is you copy this right here, this entire thing that we have right here, okay? Into a blank text document, right? So, which is what I did here. We'll open this up. See, it's all right here. Make it large screen. And we'll see about bigger. Okay, there we go. See, it's all right here. Now, what I wanted to show you is this last line where it's got the second bar. 
I have it commented out, meaning that I put the pound symbol in front of it. That comment out turns off and makes it so that there's only one bar displayed on your monitor. If you have two monitors, then you want to uncomment that out and it'll place another bar and display another bar into onto your other monitor. So right now I'm telling it that I only have one monitor assigned to this and that that's the only monitor I want the bar displayed on. And that's what it's going to do. And it's going to be the only monitor connected. So that that's something to note. When you do the actual copy and paste from the actual Arch Wiki, which will close out of this, you look at it when I make it large, you'll see that it actually has right here bar one and bar two. Right here, see, it's got the two bars. So it comes that way, un uncommented. So, because most people when they're using Polybar are usually in a window manager, and most of them have two displays that they're using. Just bear in mind that you do that. So once you copy that to you by creating a blank document, so once you copy this and you paste it into, whether it's your Vim that you're using or Nano or Gedit or whatever your editor is, once you have that in there, once you have that in there, then you want to run this command in terminal. And it's you're going to point it right to where you put that configuration file. You want to copy that command in your terminal. And then you want to hit enter, okay? And then what that does is it makes it ex an executable script, okay? So now that you have that there, right? Uh, once you have that there, then you need to copy this line right here into your configuration file for i3. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your i3 folder, right? You want to go to your config file. You want to open it with Vim. You're going to make it huge. Okay. So then you're going to go down to the bottom, right? Bottom. And at the very bottom right here for polybars that you're going to you want to type in polybar hashtag polybar because you're going to want to make a sub uh, a heading for the area that you're at. So in Vim, I'm going to hit enter in order to become the in, to get into insert mode put a backspace comment that or, you know, undo the, the comment out on the polybar. But we'll just pretend I didn't type that. We're going to do pound polybar enter. Then you're going to type exec dash dash no dash startup dash id polybar or you can copy and paste it from the web page once that's done then you got to turn off the i3 status bar make it, make it a small window see the status bar at the bottom right so now what you do make this large again top here and where bars at you want to insert a pound or comment it out and you want to go here and comment out the next line i'm going to go here and you want to comment out that line so now once that's all done and comment that out for the status bar, you could just, you could delete it, but I just like commenting it out because say I get tired of polybar, I could just go back, uncomment it out, comment out the polybar and bam, I'm back to the I3 status bar. And then I could just do whatever I want then after that. So that's my preference. But if you want to delete it, you can delete it. Who cares? So once that's done, then, you know, you obviously want to write and quit. So I'm going to hit escape, if colon, Lowercase w, exclamation, enter. And that's how you write and quit in Vim. So then the quit, same process, colon, Q, and I'm there. Or I could have typed W and Q and then the exclamation, colon, or exclamation mark, get rid of the quit out of Vim. So once that's all done, now you have completely installed Polybar. You set up the, um, the bash script to launch it at start, because that's what that bash script does and it tells it to launch it on both monitors. Once you've got that installed and you've got that up and running, then you simply close out of everything, you save everything, okay? Close out of it, and then you gotta re-log out and then log back in, and you should have polybar at the top and the status bar gone at the bottom. As you can see, the status bar is gone here, and you now have a working, functioning polybar at the top.
Now, poly bar, that is the basics that came in. As you can see, this is your percentage of your file system that you're using, your volume indicator, your keyboard, what it's set to, how much RAM you're using, how much CPU you're using, what uh, internet connect connection type you have, whether it's uh, WLAN or whether it's Ethernet. And then you got your time and your date here. And then you've got your system tray here to the right. Now, all of this is all completely customizable. Okay, it's 100% customizable. That's why so many people like Poly. And there are hundreds of configurations out there, config any that you can go get from different places on GitHub, Unix, Porn, all those places. So just have fun with Polybar. It's a really fun, highly customizable bar. And it's easy to set up. I think that's why most people like it because it's like so fast. Uh, another, another one that comes with built-in in themes and you can actually write modules for it is Bumblebee status bar. That's another one to go take a look at. And I'll do a video on that one coming out pretty soon too as well. Uh, anyhow, guys, uh, that is how you install Polybar. I switch between the i3 status bar and that one all the time. I've recently been learning how to customize the i3 status. Do that with Polybar. Have fun. I hope this helped out my subscriber. Uh, I hope that it helped out anybody else who's watching that might have thought about, you know, installing Polybar. I mean, by all means, you can put it on Ubuntu or KDE and get rid of the, the plasma bar. You can do all that good stuff. You know, you have to, you know, uh, learn how to run their launchers. You know, uh, you can probably embed that into there, into the config any or whatever, do set up key binding as you can with uh, KDE a lot. You know, there's a lot of key bindings you can do. But anyhow, yeah, I mean, you could actually put it onto another desktop environment. Literally, it doesn't have to be just a window manager. So have fun, enjoy, stay blessed. If you know that of something that I might have forgot to or you've been, you know, might be a benefit for somebody to know, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get your uh, polybar at. And um, you guys keep doing what you do and stay safe. Keep on Linux. Have a great day.